my dear friends in Christ today is a feast of or the solemnity of Christ the king and with that we come to the end of the liturgical year 2021 as we come to the end of the liturgical year the church invites us to reflect and to believe that Christ is the king of the universe so we are going to reflect on that theme today my dear friends and um, when we think of a king it's a bit unfamiliar for us as we are not in a, in that period where we are governed by kings but as sri lankans um, last few years we have been talking about uh, a king and now we are a bit familiar with the royal family the people used to talk about but i am not going to talk on that but uh, let's reflect uh, the difference which jesus tries to explain the son of god he was with the father in heaven and he is the king of the universe according to the feast which we are celebrating today so he came to this world and he became one of us he became just a human being then for he wanted to bring us back to god so he suffered and died on the cross so my dear friends the king of the universe which we are celebrating today and the the beautiful character of this king is that he is there and he was there and he will be there for his people and he, he is even ready to give himself even to die for his people a real king when there's a when there's an attack for his country or for his nation he will lead in front that's the real quality of a king do we find do we find those qualities in so called kings no they just use us or they just use people for their own benefit when they need they use them people are being used by these so called kings leaders so dear friends we are aware of various different tensions between this politics and religion in the many moral questions being debated in our times so that's why um in the year 1925 pope pius the 11th he instituted the solemnity of christ the king that was just 3 years after mussolini became prime minister of italy in 1922 
and his fascist government came to power. So Pius XI, the Pope, in his encyclical uh, says, the feast of Christ, the King, referred to his earlier encyclical in which he mentioned the chief cause of the difficulties under which mankind was laboring and we remember saying that these manifold evils in the world were due to the fact that the majority of men had trust Jesus Christ and his holy law out of their lives. That these had no place either in private affairs or in politics. And we said further that as long as individuals and state refuse to submit to the rule of our Savior, there would be no really hopeful prospect of a lasting peace among nations. Men must look for peace of Christ in the kingdom of Christ. My dear friends, we find beautiful selections from our first reading and the second reading. First reading taken from the book of Daniel. It says, Received dominion, glory and kingship. All peoples, nations and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. So even the book of Revelation gives the same idea that he is the king. And in the gospel we find Jesus is in front of Pilate and Pilate questions Jesus asking, are you a king? Jesus says, yes. But my kingdom is not here. I came to testify for the truth. So we are invited to testify for the truth. So whoever listens and whoever believes in truth listens to my voice. That's what Jesus says. So are we ready to have truth in our lives? My dear friends, if we have not been putting Jesus first in our lives, if Jesus is not our King, once again today, let us praise Jesus first in our lives. As Pope Pius XI said, let us let Jesus reign in our minds, reign in our wills, reign in our hearts, and reign in our bodies. If we have been treating something or someone as king of our lives, we have seen that we have been slaves to different people and even some great personalities serving some others, some just politicians as kings and leaders, just venerating them. No, today the feast of the the Christ the King, the King of the universe, reminds us that we have only one King, that we can venerate only that King, King of the universe. We have only one King who would protect us, whatever the danger might be, but He will protect us. So let's have that firm faith in our lives that Jesus Christ will be there no matter what that he will be there protecting us, guiding us, guarding us. So let's have that faith and let's venerate the King of the Universe. Amen.